hili litafika uh, mimi nimekuja hapa kama rafiki yenu kama ndugu rafiki wa mheshimiwa Marende ambaye tumetoka mbali sana tumejuana miaka mingi familia zetu wakawa wanajuana zaidi ndio wakatunganisha tumekuwa hapa kuanzia siasa ya kwanza ya Marende kuwa mbunge na tumehudumu pamoja katika bunge la kumi mimi nikiwa mbunge wa Galole tukawa kule bungoni ndio alikuwa speaker wetu sasa wakati watu wanamuongelea Marende tulizeni sisi mambo mengine kwa sababu tulikuwa pale ndani leo tumekuja kuomboleza naye na pia kusherekea maisha ya mzee ambaye amelala hapa so kwa heshima kubwa ya uhusiano ambao tulikuwa nao kuanzia miaka hii mpaka sasa ndio mnaniona mimi nimekuwa mtu ya vihiga pia nina watu wengine wa vihiga kule pande mwingine tunakoanga pamoja hata hapa tumekuja nao wengine wametoka Mombasa wameketi pale wengine wametoka Nairobi tumekuja timu kubwa na tumekuja pia na msichana wa mzee baba Raila Molo Dinga ako pale anaitwa Nicole Nicole msimama kidogo yule ndio Nicole sasa tulikuja naye pamoja kwa sababu pia tumekuwa timu moja kwa mambo mengi na pia rafiki ya family basi yetu tumekuja kwa sababu ya kusema poleni kwa watu wa Vihika uh, familia ya Marende kanisa uh, watumishi uh, nyote ndugu na marafiki wote poleni sana kwa kumpoteza mzee tunajua kupoteza mzee wa boma ni mtihani mzito mno vifo viwili mama baba unajua hapo sasa kuna challenge ya watu kusimama sasa uongozi umekuwa ndovu na marende yako na mtihani mzito kwa sababu lazima sasa asimame mimi nataka kumtia moyo bila inasema the ways of a good man they are guided by the lord what you only need to do is to be a good man as long as you are a good man then the lord will guide your steps because it's a virtue to be a good man and mzee asha says the best of a good man from what i hear and from what i know so yangu nitakuacha na kifungu hicho ya kwamba you remain being a good man because from there it doesn't matter whether you stumble the lord will still pick you up um kwa hiyo yangu nitakuwa na machache kidogo ya kwanza Raila Odinga wakati alitaka kwenda kushauri Ruto na kusimamisha umwagaji wa damu alituliza sisi sisi wengine we are security professionals and we advised in the best way and tulimsikiza akasema tulikuwa hapa 2028 to to zero zero eight, sorry ndio tuwe na coalition government tulikuwa hapa and we don't want more bloodshed the only way is to move there and convince Ruto to unite the people of Kenya na ndio sababu alichukua ile hatua kupunguza umwagikaji damu na sisi tulisema sawa na tukaingia pale na sasa nchi imetulia na tukasukuma mambo mengine punguza hii speed ya ushuru kuachana na mambo ya ushuru kuunganisha kwanza Kenya tengeneza matatizo yale yako madogo madogo kwanza ndio hayo mambo mengine yatakuja baadaye na Ruto alisikiza na katika kuunganisha Kenya sisi pia tulikubali ya kwamba wacha tusaidiane na tukashikana tukasaidiana ndio paranya yule ndio hayo mambo yote mmesikia hapa kusema ukweli baba has done the best for us you may not understand the rate at which we are going to lose people in this country because people had already ganged up to make sure they spill a lot of blood kama si baba nyinyi hata pengine godan hangekuwa hapa wengi wenu nyinyi shukuruni sana 
ya kwamba baba alisimama ndio sasa pia nyinyi mambo yenu kidogo yamekuwa ya sahali kidogo kweli urongo kweli urongo eh hey, kweli sasa pale imebaki ni ruto akiharibu ni yeye akitengeza eh hey. sisi tushamsaidia na kutupo tayari kumsaidia lakini akiharibu ni nani na akitengeza yeye yeah, yeah. na wacheni niwaambie na aliku alisikie tumeona wengi hapa ikanya hii mara nyingi viongozi huangushwa na wafuasi wao wale wadogo wao godana ataangushwa na wadogo wa Ruto ataangusha na wadogo? Moi aliangusha na wadogo? E, wale wote viongozi wameanguka dunia hii. Wameangushwa na vi, wale wadogo? Kuna watu ndani ya serikali ya Ruto ambao wanamdanganya sana. Na mmoja umesema kweli. Kuna wengi ndani ya serikali ya Ruto wanamdanganya sana hata kumpatia fake promises ya 2027 wako ndani ya serikali ya Ruto Amedil na Gachagua Tumeona Amedil na Gachagua Gachagua akaona huyu anamharibia akamtoa Lakini kuna wengine akitaka ku 2027 aanze kufakia serikali yake wale ambao anawajua wengine hawajui atuulize sisi tumwambie ukweli wale wanamharibia siasa yake ndio watamwangusha 2027 sisi ni yetu ni nzuri tunataka kutengeneza Kenya tunataka kutengeneza Kenya ya pili juzi nimesikitika sana kuona mvutano kati ya senators and 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 MPs kuhusu pesa za mgao I thought kitu msingi ambacho marende huyu na mimi na oparanya na wengine wakati including Ruto na wengine wako ndani ya serikali yake tulipigana sana kuhakikisha gatuzi zimesimama kweli urongo pamoja na nyinyi ndio sasa mko na vihiga county ndio tuko na taraiva county kwa sababu tulipigana tukitaka gatuzi any effort ya kuhakikisha kwamba gatuzi zimesimama ni jambo zuri lakini any effort by anyone kuhakikisha kwamba gatuzi zimeanguka huyo ni adui wa wakenya na ni adui wa wananchi wa kenya sa hizi vihiga hii mna mambo mengi sana mmefanya tunayajua vihiga is one of the example tuna share kule taarifa has its own examples kila county iko na success story we have done well as devolution we have governors with good minds but each one has a good brain i have a good brain there are good brains all this country si haya wako na governor mzuri wapi kila mahali tuko na governor tuko na mipango mizuri tunajua vitu ya kufanya lakini kile tu kinatuumiza counties ni kukosa kupewa pesa za kuendesha mambo na hiyo ndiyo inaumiza Kenya mzima na mimi nataka kumuliza Ruto wakati anangangana kusimamisha kusimamisha wa kuunganisha wa Kenya angangane pia kuhakikisha gatuzi zimepata nguvu asipozitia nguvu gatuzi gatuzi zitamwangusha Zimwangushe zisimwangushe. Azitie nguvu asitie nguvu. Eh akiharibu ni yeye, akitengeza. Asanteni sana Mungu abariki. Asante sana Governor Rafiki yangu. Sasa tuna